about pussy cats today. Are you cool for cats, or do they leave you feline under the web underwhelmed? Yes, like well, feline. interesting. Yeah. There is a very good series on Netflix. It's a new one called Cat People, and on Cat People you will see uh, a lot of cat owners, of course, that's what they are. But they're basically saying uh, they want to dispel the not so positive stereotypes of all of this. Oh, look, let's get into this and let's meet some of these people. Um, you saw animal trainer Samantha there, who teaches her cats to perform acrobatics. Hi. And hi, hi, Samantha. Hi, hi, Samantha. And also we've got um, rapper hi. looking on, rapper Mo Show there with his cat. And your cat, Mo Show, is called? This is DJ Ravioli. I, DJ. I'm, what, a, what a name, what a name. Now listen, DJ Ravioli and Mo Shaw, let's watch Samantha. And Samantha, talk us through what your pussycats can do. Well, this is the band. They're called the Rock Cats. They're the, they're the finale of our show, which features around 16 performing cats that are all clicker trained. They're all former orphans, rescues and strays that have come into my life over the years and I've taught them to do amazing things kind of based on their, their own skill sets. And uh, today we have, we're have we working with the band, the, the Rock Cats. This is Bowie on, the, on drums. And then we have Rue on keyboard. And St. Claude is our guitar player. I guess he decided to take a break. <laughs> Are they, gonna, uh, are they gonna play something? Are they gonna play right. something for us, Samantha? Can they play uh, oh, something? Oh yes, it's kind of their own. It's uh, their own music, so I don't think you'd really recognize this song. It's a new piece they've been working on. <laughs> it's very heavy on the drums. The drummer, the drummer has a bit of a big ego. Slowly. <laughs> But basically, on, Samantha, Samantha, a lot of people may think that cats cannot be trained, uh, not in the same way as, as dogs can. But uh, are you dispelling that? I'm not sure you are dispelling that. Not right now. <laughs> well, cats work at their own pace. So cats really are more about what is, what's in it for me, but they are absolutely trainable. They're very fun to work with. Uh, because our, they always surprise me. I never know what they're going to do, or they're not going to do, and when, or so, when so they're not. Samantha, how does that work? Because you, you take the cats out, you've got the amazing acro cats, so they do acrobatics, you've got the rock cats band. So when, you're, when you go out to do a show that people have paid to come and see, I presume you can't guarantee that the cats will actually even perform. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I cannot guarantee much of anything, except that people will laugh. People well, will that's, that's true. Well, you've given us a smile <laughs> so far today. Mo Show, a man of music there with DJ Ravioli. Um, tell me about yeah, your yeah. involvement in uh, Cat People. Uh, my involvement is I'm the cat rapper. I have five cats. We got DJ Ravioli, Mega Man, Queen Sushi, Black Savage, and we also have Little Parmesan. And my role is... I rap about my cats, I love my cats, and I represent all of the cat ladies and cat guys in the world. And I just, my message is to spread peace, love, and positivity to everyone, and to get people to love their cats, and to show that it's okay to show your love for cats, and it's okay to be yourself. Why do you love them so much, Mosho? I like the energy that you have to put into them to get that trust. You know, with cats, you have to put in a little bit more work to earn that love. But once you get that love and you get that cat connection, I think it's very meagical. Ah, oh, it's like a woman then, isn't it, really? <laughs> same, same sort of thing. Um, Pretty DJ, much, DJ, put in that work. DJ Ravioli seems a very chilled cat, and you seem a very chilled guy. So who's picking up whose vibe here? You know, I think it's just one of those things where we just vibe out together. And I think we both pick up on each other's vibes. He's very chill. He's very it's sleepy like, right he's asleep, now. He's sleepy too. It's not asleep. You know, he's so we just, we just vibing together. <laughs> uh, do, can you do a rap for us, a cat rap? I got a bunch of cats. Roll it back, get it back. Cats on my lap, got cats on my hat, putting cats on the map. You know where we be at. You better love your cat. If you don't, that's whack. Woo! See, you love that. You love, I love you that. love when cartoons or places <laughs> or anything to do with animals, animals that make do them... the funniest things. Yes, when you yeah. think an animal is like humanoid, yes. that really tickles you. Laugh. But that cat, DJ Ravioli, you can see him there, he's smiling, he looks really happy. 
Um, and it's, uh, you've got five cats, so all very different. Other p uh, criticism people say of cats, like, well, they've got no personality. Yeah, well, you know, that's what I love about cats is each of my cats all, they give me different type of love. DJ Ravioli is my studio cat. Queen Sue, she sleeps with me every night. Black Savage gives me a lot of encouragement. So I just love them all. And we're just all one big cat family. And I love what each one of them bring to me. And they all, all of their personalities are so different. And I'm just very thankful. Yeah. And you're also, uh, Mosho, involved in the, the uh, Million Cat Challenge. So this is a challenge to, to rehome a million cats. So this it goes beyond your music, doesn't it? Absolutely. This always goes beyond my music. The it's so much bigger than me. My message is to save as many cats as I can possible to make cats look cool and to just break that stereotype of black cats uh, being bad luck due to how they're shown in, in, in certain lights and everything like that. So my thing is just to break that stereotype and to show all of the people that cat ladies are not crazy, you're all beautiful and that I appreciate everyone. Well, I want to, on the subject of cat ladies, Samantha, have you ever been described as crazy? Would you see yourself as crazy? Does your love for cats ever get in the way of, of leading another life, a different life, having someone in your life? <laughs> uh, well, uh, yes, I would say that it definitely, there is a stigma of if you're a woman and you have more than two cats, then um, that's a red flag. So, and you can only hide this many cats for so long. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what would you say, what would you both say to people? Because I am sure uh, people will be getting in touch with us today and you'll want to send in pictures of your cats and you will think your cat is the best thing ever in your life. And please do that with us this morning. But Samantha, first of all, and then Mosho, what would you say to people who love a cat, who are cat owners, or maybe people who are thinking, Maybe I should get a cat. What would you say, Samantha? Uh, if you're going to get a cat, rescue a cat. There are so many homeless kitties out there that need homes. So just, you know, go visit your local shelter, meet some cats, uh, take some time to connect with the cat because really the cat chooses you more than you choose the cat. So it's yeah. important to, uh, to, to take the time to find the right cat. Yeah, Ado uh, adopt, don't shop, you're your saying. Yeah, 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 and carve out part of your day to spend time. Uh, we use clicker training. It's all positive reinforcement for training the cats. I um, think... a click equal treat. So that, that 10 minutes a day that you spend with your cat can really help build a greater bond yeah. with your cat. So that's part of our mission is trying to get people to bond with the cats that they adopt. I think that the band have taken a break, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> uh, always the case. Uh, uh, Mo Show, <laughs> fi final word to you and DJ Ravioli, who's woken up. Um, I would just like to say to... Don't be afraid to express your love for cats. It's okay to show your love for cats. Let the cat choose you. If you see a cat, don't force the love upon it. Just wait and gradually bond with the cat, and I promise you, you'll find what you're looking for. And one last thing, shout out to all my cat ladies and shout out to my cat guys. Oh, well, uh, shout out to both of you. Thank you so much, Samantha in Georgia and Mosho from Oregon and your gorgeous cats. Thank you so much. And you can see them both with lots of other cat people uh, on Netflix right now.